We are here to kick off the scooters that have arrived in Wichita, as you can see behind me. We have a couple of council members, Council Member Claycomb and Council Member Tuttle, that have joined us. And the mayor has a proxy this morning that is willing to ride. Anna is the mayor's proxy and the mayor's stunt double. As you can see, they will probably not confuse us on a scooter. So I have to share that we are really excited to welcome these scooters to Wichita. We are rolling along with some improvements to our city to make Wichita a destination city while working to implement quality of life with amenities like scooters that'll make Wichita a more attractive place to call home. We want to be a city where people truly do choose to live, work, and play in Wichita. This new method of transportation will add vibrancy to our downtown and it'll make getting around a little easier. Many call it the uh, first and last mile often in their mode of transportation. So it adds one more uh, amenity to a wide variety of modes of transportation. This is the first deployment of scooters in Wichita and we're looking forward to expanding their presence. We've learned from other cities who have added scooters and we're hoping that everyone will use them safely and that's why I'm holding this press conference with this helmet that you can order if you so choose to want to ride a scooter with a helmet these are easily available and we can share a little bit more information about that later so I want to ask everyone to be safe be mindful of your surroundings using the scooters um, Certainly we want you to use precautions and would, would like for you to uh, use similar precautions as you would on a bicycle. And we want you to have fun. We do have uh, Mr. Patton from our police department with us this morning to talk about any issues involving scooters and regulations and, and what it means in terms of um, abiding by the law as you ride a scooter around our downtown area and just re-emphasize that what we passed recently in terms of ordinances just pertain to rental scooters. We did not address any ordinance that pertains to individually owned scooters. So it's just rental scooters that we are talking about today and what the law applies to in terms of rental scooters. And we have the mayor's proxy willing to jump on a scooter here right after we do the ribbon cutting. So I'm gonna invite all of those up here. I think with the mayor's proxy ought to cut the ribbon too. Do we have an extra pair of scissors? So we'll invite everyone to come over for the ribbon cutting and then we'll open it up for questions if you have those that maybe uh, Mr. Patton can answer or any of us can answer in terms of what this really means and. and with regulation and, and what is the safe way to go about riding a rental scooter in our city. So, on to the ribbon cutting. One, two, three. So at this point, are there any questions that you would like to ask that we can share? We have uh, Lieutenant Patton here that, that's certainly available for any questions you might have. The rules, are they going to be posted when people decide to rent out the scooters? Will the, the rules be available to them? So they are. I mean, there's a couple of different places where the rules will be available. So people have to sign a contract to rent scooters, and those rules are part of that. But it's my understanding that we're going to have signage of the prominent rules in place so that people fully understand that. And I'll let uh, Lieutenant Patton how familiar are you with in terms of how we're posting the rules? Uh, I believe that there are going to be signs posted, but I don't know exactly where all the signs will be posted at this point. Uh, I believe that the rules are part of the agreement that has to be signed prior to rental. Right. We have one of the individuals. The oh, hey. In Hi. terms of posting the rules, what is your intention for posting the rules for people to follow? So, so rules can be found? Here, uh, come up to the 
Uh, rules can be found, uh, instructions for riding that have been curated specific for the city of Wichita uh, directly in the SPIN app. So when a user is going to ride for the first time, uh, they will go through a series of instructions uh, which uh, allows the users to follow local uh, regulation uh, and making sure that they're able to ride safely and comfortably. And then I believe we're still posting some signs of some of the rules around at some of the rental places. Uh, yes, so uh, so there will be uh, specific locations staged throughout the city uh, in order to uh, find more information. Uh, a lot of the, the scooters will also be staged uh, at uh, at locations uh, similar to where the bike share is is as well throughout the city. Uh, and uh, directly on the scooter, there is information for finding out about how to reach out for uh, instructions on how to ride, uh, as well as user support. And the helmets, can those be rented as well? Uh, helmets can be available for purchase uh, through the SPIN app. Uh, it's a quick turnaround time on shipment. Uh, and uh, we'll also be discussing uh, hopefully some uh, partnerships with local bike shops uh, is, is our goal to provide uh, locally available discounted rates for helmets as well. So you need a different app to do this than you do for Bike Share ICT? Uh, correct. So the SPIN app is available for scooters and the Zagster app is available for renting uh, bicycles with the Bike Share. So, uh, sorry, can you repeat the question? It was a little bit loud. Um, are all 500 out? As of, as of today, we are at, at full scale and 500 scooters available for rental throughout the city. And for the mayor, what about the timeline for the other companies? I haven't heard from the other companies when they intend to deploy their scooters, but my understanding is they'll all be deploying here within a few weeks. How many total? Um, another company said they're going to deploy 500 and then I think a third company was only at a couple of hundred range. So more than a thousand? More than a thousand. If people are curious about the specific locations of where they can get them, is that all through the app or is there anywhere else they can get that information? So the, the places where you can rent a scooter I believe are just in the core area of the city. And I don't know if we have the locations on a map yet. Uh, uh, <laughs> these, these are, uh, as I like to say, living, breathing vehicles uh, driven by the users. And they, on the course of a given day, they find themselves uh, at different locations throughout the city. We do uh, set uh, the same deployment uh, zones each and every morning, uh, like the location you see behind us right here. Uh, however, the most accurate uh, real-time information is always available directly in the SPIN app. There's a really nice map to use in order to find out the sco uh, scooter nearest you. Yeah. And I don't have to bring it back here, right? Uh, nope, so scooters can be uh, parked at the end of your trip in a responsible manner, uh, located uh, in uh, as close to the uh, curb of the sidewalk as possible. Uh, please do refrain from uh, leaving the scooter um, that may, um, that may uh, impede a pedestrian right-of-way um, or at uh, intersections and where individuals may be crossing. Alright folks, we have some scooters set up for you down here. If you of our riders or if you want to hop on yourselves. So Dion's going to ride. Quick question about uh, safety and enforcement with another mode of transportation on the streets. Is there any anything additional that WPD is doing uh, to enforce these rules? Uh, any additional enforcement? No, other than enforcement of the, the new ordinance for the rental scooters. Uh, I would just ask that uh, other drivers be aware that these are going to be on the streets now. Uh, treat them as a traffic unit, treat them like you would a bicyclist, and uh, be careful and be safe and be aware of your surroundings and be a defensive driver. And will uh, officers be responsible for kind of making sure that the drivers of these scooters are following traffic rules and safety rules and stuff like that as if, well? If officers observe violations of the ordinance, they can take uh, action, yes. Is that a, a fine or do you know what the, the penalty is? It's a fine. Yeah, it is a fine. Price range of that fine, do you know? Off the top of your I don't know. No? Okay. <laughs>